Hello adventurers and welcome back to the Aquatic Adventure YouTube channel. Today we are starting a new series, to be more precise a let's develop series on the new Aquatic Adventure Nebula version. If you don't know what Nebula is, it's basically a new version of a game that is going to be built from the bottom up all over again on a new game engine which will increase its performance and just make it a little easier for us to develop. If you want a full in-depth explanation on what it is, we recommend checking out our blog. Links in the description. Anyway, so like we said, we are going to start a less developed series on this new game. Reason being, we want to involve a community as much as possible to shape the future of the Aquatic Adventure Realm. This means we will be listening to comments and any ideas you guys have and see how we can implement them as fun and playable features. But with that said, let's jump right into the video. And okay, so as you can see, this is for full game. Nah, just kidding. This is a work in progress menu screen for the new Nebula game. We know it's bland, but bear with us, yeah? So now you must be wondering, well, what does it do then? Well, if you must know, it is the starting point for the game, where you must select an IP and a port so you can play with your friends. Yes, you heard me right. Multiplayer is finally coming to the game. We have been working very hard on this feature and we hope you like it. Currently, this is still a work in progress since it has a lot of bugs, but the main idea is there. Well, how about we show it to you then? Select a port, and boom, game created. As you can see, we're in a pretty bland looking area, no procedural generation yet, but we can move around uh, with a new walking animation. Yes, that too, and we can jump and do stuff. How about we invite a friend to uh, play then? So, I'm just going to take out my other game here that's on the system. Uh, and I believe you can't actually see what I'm doing really on uh, the other side, but because of the screen recording program we're using. But, well, so I just have to select an IP and a port, and boom! There, we have a friend joining us. Now we can move around together and stuff. As you can see, the walking animation gets played on both sides when one player moves. And the jumping is kind of weird, but we're working on it. Uh, the main idea is there though. And then obviously, you can disconnect from the game. And one more thing um, before we finish. We've been working on the new menu song for Aquatic Adventure, and we just want you to listen to it. So, here it is.
And that was it. Okay, so that was episode one of the Let's Dev Aquatic Adventure Nebula series. What did you think? Were the features cool? Any improvements? Did I stutter too much? Let us know in the comments down below, and as always, see you next time.